Now, when I got this kind of like uh, the uh, subject, I uh, thought that what will be mind communication? And you uh, uh, gave us uh, the, a number of examples. What will be the mind mindful communication? Mindful is, as you mentioned, the aware of oneself, myself, and also the other, and also not only to aware myself and others, but also to aware our situation, social problems, social issues in uh, in our own world, and so. I am thinking that my communication should be uh, based upon trust building communication uh, without the heart, our heart. If we lose our heart, we cannot communicate each other. This symposium raised the question, first the question will be, what are the Asian ideas or concepts that can be applied to modern communication and journalism practices? Concerning this question, we may ask a simple question again. What is the basic principle of communication and journalism? Communication is an activity of communicating between people or groups by conveying information. A social networking is an important tool to connect people without being bounded by time and space. Uh, firstly, I argue that the bias-free communication requires objective and truth information share. In the words of the uh, Chinese philosopher Confucius, he said, following the proper way, I do not always new paths with the confidence I cherish the ancients. In this respect, I am comparable to our venerable old man. End of quote. To make this uh, relevant to the contemporary context, it means to say that proper way of journalism is to keep objectivity and descriptive approach for the news without falling into bias. So, as I could give you another example, a Sawan, the East Korean historian, who wrote uh, the chronology of uh, Korean uh, kingdom, Joseon dynasty, uh, they could write it objectively without showing their writings to the kings. Kings could not see the historians' writings. And so historians could write it objectively without being distorted by the, uh, the, uh, the king's order. Another example, Mencius emphasized the inherent goodness of human beings and he interpreted Nian as the feeling of concern for the well-being of others. He further explained the justice as the sense of shame and disgust, property as the sense to treat others with courtesy and respect, and wisdom as the sense of right and wrong. According to Mencius, virtues such as yen, justice, property, and wisdom are not bestowed to us from outside, but are rather already endowed the trait in each and in every human being. If I follow the teachings of Mencius, we may say that when we strive for it, we would gain it. If we ignore it, we may lose it. It is related with the social issues. If we just uh, uh, strive to solve it, we could try, we could try, we could uh, solve it, that kind of problem. But if we ignore those kind of social problems, we may lose those kind of social issues. Uh, secondly, a journalist should keep a public spirit and sense of a universal ethics to benefit the human beings in balance with nature. As the human community is becoming more civilized and moving towards an active global and social network, universal ethics and the public are coming to the fore in the fields of religion and philosophy. Publicness and public ethics are considered practical values and ethics in establishing the relationship between me and other. In this regard, I consider that a journalist should keep the public spirit to respect not only individuals but also the public sphere. Historically, the concept and perception of public was applied differently according to time and reason. 
public indicates the public area of social groups beyond the area of private individuals such as clans, tribes, nations, and countries. The public sector that was represented by the ruler in the monarchy era extended from the level of the country to the entire civil society in the present time. On the other hand, the togetherness, that is also a very important concept to discuss with the public. That addresses how to coexist and communicate with each other in relation to individuals, communities, nations, and the world. I just made a very short, uh, I just suggest a very short uh, uh, sentences, but it has very long history to discuss about the poverty and togetherness. Uh, more than uh, 2,000 or 3,000 years. The journalist has a critical role to convey that faith communities and spiritual leaders of the world can play an important role in addressing the enormous problems concerning food, water, and climate. Although government bodies and international secular organizations have initially met their responsibility to identify and have begun to address the problems of starvation and poverty. The food crisis of the various religions led to a vast increase in the millions of newly hungry people in the world. Leaving these traditional uh, organizations overwhelmed in the capacity to respond adequately. And so we could see this kind of famine problem in Africa, in uh, Asia, in some other countries. Also, uh, you know, WHO and other uh, uh, UN uh, NGO uh, uh, organizations reported about the famine situation in North Korea. But nowadays, they just talk about the nuclear weapons. That's the main issues without talking about famine and also difficult economic situation in North Korea. Moreover, the recent economic decline dramatically worsened these problems and left a large void in the fabric of support for the poorest of the poor that urgently needs to be addressed. A journalist should report on these concerning climate changes, fresh water access, and human food chain problems. In addition, the role, the role of the journalist extends to reporting on social problems in our communities in cooperation with the government officials 